Rosenberg, 63, pleaded guilty in federal court in Providence, Rhode Island, to charges that he committed health care fraud and conspired to receive kickbacks to prescribe subsidies. Prosecutors said that from 2012 to 2015, Rosenberg schemed to receive $188,000 in kickbacks in the form of speaker fees from INSEES, which were a major factor in his decision to prescribe subsidies to patients. Under a plea agreement, Rosenberg agreed to pay $754,736 in restitution to health care benefit programs. He faces a maximum prison sentence of 15 years and is scheduled to be sentenced on January 16. The investigations into INSEES have come during a national epidemic of opioid abuse. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, opioids were involved in more than 33,000 deaths in 2015. The death rate has continued to rise, according to estimates. In December, federal prosecutors in Boston charged six former INSEES executives and managers, including ex-chief executive Michael Babich, with engaging in a scheme to bribe doctors to prescribe subsidies and defraud insurers. All six have pleaded not guilty. Federal charges have also been filed in several other states against other ex INSEES employees and medical practitioners who prescribed subsidies. INSEES has been in settlement talks with the U.S. Justice Department. It said on Wednesday it is working with relevant authorities to resolve issues related to the misdeeds of former employees. INSEES also faces lawsuits by attorneys general in Arizona and New Jersey. It previously paid dollar million to resolve investigations by attorneys general in Oregon, New Hampshire, Illinois, and Massachusetts. The case is U.S. v. Rosenberg, U.S. District Court, District of Rhode Island, No. 17, CR 00009.